everybody and welcome to the new season a <laughs> so if you may have noticed the setup is looking a little bit different is because i've moved i kind of i've been like briefly mentioning it that this is going to be my first video in the new space so a hype big hype for that uh, <laughs> i'm just like woo. And what would be better than to break out the new space than continue on with the, our, our favorite series, the ranking AP Prince 2015. I thought it'd be best to do this because this is the modern era of AP or what I consider to be the modern, the start of the modern era of AP 2015. So yeah, let's get on into that. And our first dress today is going to be Castle Mirage, and Castle Mirage is, uh, okay, so a little brief thing I forgot to mention is I will now be starting to kind of focus a little bit more on materials because I think that's one of modern AP's kind of faults. Everybody always criticizes modern AP prints for being polyester, bad, like quality wise bad. So we're gonna see if that's really true. So Castle Mirage is a poly satin kind of mixed dress. And yeah, I really, I like, as far as the print goes, the print is lovely. Cinderella is kind of a very refreshing theme after <laughs> the constant Alice prints. Like there's so many Alice prints by this point and more to come. <laughs> but yeah, I just found this print to be really refreshing. And it's so pretty. Castle, Castle Mirage. <laughs> so yeah, I gave this one a four out of five bows. And would I own this? No, I feel like it doesn't really fit in with what I got, my style. <laughs> but my roommate probably would. They have like almost every Cinderella print. So yeah, fortunately I would not own this one, but it is still getting a four out of five. And the next print is Elizabeth the Unicorn. I'm pretty sure that's right. Uh, it's, it's a pretty good print. It's poly, which is not great. I feel like the cuts for this one are just really, oh, I don't know, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, so I believe I get this one that's a two out of five. Like, I feel like there's a little bit of salvageability about the print, but execution wise, it ain't it. I would not own this. No, thank you. Two out of five. <laughs> And the next print is British Bear, which I love. I love this print. I love this print so much. I paid so much money for it. I love it. And I, for, I left it at home. <laughs> a, a couple of things, pieces from my wardrobe did get left at home. And British Bear wasn't a priority to bring over right away, unfortunately. But I do still love it. It's very cute. I missed the release and I bought it at a very bad time where it was reselling for a lot. So. I paid way more money than it was worth and I, the poly on it is like, it's so light, it almost seems like a fake. It's not a fake. It's got a tag, it's got everything. It's, I've seen other British bears in person. It's just so like, it's like a very light poly and I'm just like, I don't know, I'm, this ain't poly. <laughs> uh, it was a very, it's a very like weird light poly, which kind of brings down the quality when it could have been cotton and oh my God, British bear wasn't cotton. Beautiful, but I'm pretty sure even with its poly, I still gave it a five out of five. And would I own this? Yes. I wish I had it here with me now. And the next dress is Mary Bunny, which is a co the first cotton release we got this year. Let's go. I feel like it's cute, but of course, you know, this, these kind of like, it's cute for Christmas print. I feel like all these themes though have been kind of reused by AP before and other like kind of prints. I'll, I'll throw a couple up here because <laughs> names are escaping me but I know there are ones that still give off this similar vibes but it's still pretty cute so I'm gonna give it a three out of five but would I own it? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think it's special enough to own. Sorry all you Mary Bunny fans out there. <laughs> and the next dress is Chess Emblem, which I, I personally think, you know, after Chess Chocolate, I feel like Chess is a, it's a fairly cute Lolita motif. I really like the color combinations on this one. It was, it's, I think it's pretty good. 
and I'm gonna give it a, a three out of five. But when I own this, I don't think it really fits into my style, but of course the motif is very nice. Good job. Good job, chess emblem. <laughs> uh, yeah, ooh, is this Paul or Satin? That's a good question. I'm gonna put it right here. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> and the next print is Dreamy Jewel, which is made out of Dobby Duchene, which I'm probably saying the <laughs> word Dobby. Dobby the house elf. Oh, D Dobby? Is that you, my guy? <laughs> so, yes, this Dreamy Jewel is, I believe, the first print is Jewelry Jelly. That kind of goes off the jewelry motif, which is kind of interesting as far as the print goes. I I think it's it's not bad. It's not that bad. I would give it another a three out of five. I feel like because there are elements that I'm like mm, I don't know about that. Color combination is a little bit weird. Uh, uh, most I, I do mostly still like it. I feel like it's still like wearable. I feel like it's it's still good. But would I own it? No. Still getting a three out of five though. Wow. Wait, I'm coming back to say that. <laughs> I wrote in my notes. <laughs> the bow on Dreamy Jewel is just so sad. So sad. <laughs> Alright, next dress. <laughs> and the next print is Cherry Marguerite, which is chiffon. I really like Cherry Marguerite. I feel like it's a fairly strong cherry print. I love like the checkered pattern. I'm like, whoo, checkered country pattern? does have surprise daisy crosses, which is a little bit weird. I'm, I'm like, why'd you do that? That was not necessary, I you didn't have to do that. <laughs> so yeah, I believe I give this one a still a strong print. I would kind of like to see it in cotton because I feel like the thing with chiffon is like for some prints, it really kind of washes the print out, I feel like. And this is one I feel like maybe it might've been better with like cotton. Cause I think, well, I think of like checkered powder and I think of like cotton, summer, those kinds of vibes. But yeah, I, it's, it, I still gave it a four out of five and would I own it? Yeah, still pretty dang cute. Still pretty dang cute. <laughs> and the next print is Horror Garden, which is a poly satin mix. I, I love, I feel like this is kind of why people think that the modern AP era is going a little bit downhill because I believe like as if this were like the velvet gold mixture we usually see from AP oh my god those prints always scream like class elegance and for some reason this print just doesn't for me it's just the poly satin there's the overskirt is pretty nice but I just feel like I don't at least from the stock photos I feel like it, it might be better in person to be fair I like, haven't seen the, a real horror garden and it might be different from the stock photos but like photographing wise it does not look like it photographs well you just kind of look like a cheap kind of satiny mess and yeah I'm still giving it a three out of five I do still really like the print it's still still giving I feel like pretty good vibes but yeah, I would not own this one. I'd rather have, if it was in velvet, we'll, we'll be talking, AP, <laughs> but no, not not in this poly satin, sorry, AP. And the next print is Fantastic Carnival, which is cotton, yeah, get, oh, we got some cotton <laughs> ultra sweet prints in there. So yes, Fantastic Carnival is, it's a bit of a different carnival print from the other carnival prints because I feel like nobody includes Fantastic Carnival in with the other carnival prints because it doesn't have horses. <laughs> it doesn't have horses on the carnival, which I think is pretty, pretty, like, I like the idea of kind of that. And then of course there's like, you know, little secret, little, little miracle bunnies hidden in there, hidden in the clouds, love that. And yeah, the cuts aren't terrible, and all the colorways pretty much slap, so I'm gonna give this one a 5 out of 5. And would I own it? Yeah, I think, I think, I think I'd like to own that one. I, I, think it, I think it's a good dress. A good dress. And the next print in our series is Dreamy Planetarium, which oh God, thankfully nobody wore to my meetup because I would have. I would have. I'm sure they would have come up with a good chord, but um, it's satin. Really, why does AP insist on doing like satin space prints? It's, 
or it's just not working out. It's just not working out, guys. I don't know. If he, if he keeps trying to do space prints, because Galaxy Print, I feel like, was a big thing in the kind of time they were working with, but it's, it's not working out on a dress, guys. So, yeah, because uh, I say it's on par with, like, Cosmic and Dreamy Horoscope. It's just, yeah, two out of five, would not own. No, thank you. No, thank you. No satin messes in my wardrobe, please. And the next dress is Dolly Cat, which is cotton. Got another cotton sweet dress, but unfortunately... Okay. AP, we need to have a talk. Stop doing the low-waisted cuts. <laughs> we could do normal waisted, we could do high waisted, but what we can't do is low waisted. The, those, the, the cut always looks off. I'm like, sorry, stop, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> so yeah, but other than that, the print is really gorgeous. I really like the pink and yellow colorways for this one. Because, I don't know, pink and yellow, it's, it's a colorway I've been feeling lately. Like, it's a vibe. It's definitely got a broader kind of color range compared to like Cat's Tea Party with it's only two colorways. For some reason they were only like, sorry, gray or pink for Cat's Tea Party, but this one has a lot of colorways. It's really good, despite the low wastage. <laughs> but yeah, so I would give this one a four out of five. And would I own this? Mm, I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe it's just because every time I see it, it's a little wasted. But I feel like you know, cat's tea party is enough for me. I feel I'm I'm good with cat prints right now. I think. And the next dress is whip Jackard, which oh, it's cotton, but it's like dreamy jewel minus all the color and the interesting bits. It's how do they make cotton? I don't know if it's just stoppos, but how do they make cotton look so washed out? I'm sorry. I'm just like. <laughs> no, thank you. It's so boring and I hate it. It's not a good dress. One out of five. Would I own this? Nah, I, I love myself too much for that. Ain't about it. No, get away. Get away. And the next dress is Wonder Gallery, which. Whoa. Whoa. -ho. It's cotton. It's cotton. <laughs> I love it. I, I really like this print. It makes me feel like I'm in the Tate Britain now. <laughs> it's just the princess cut looks like, oh my god, it's peak with this. We love a good princess cut. It just makes you feel very elegant and I, I'm just like, whoa. Five out of five. And would I own this? Yeah. Yes, I would own this. Please. Throw it in my wardrobe now. <laughs> oh my god. Nice. After that last dress, next, let's go. And the next dress is Luminous Sanctuary, which is Polly. I just feel like after Castle Mirage, this one was not needed. Like, did we need this? <laughs> I mean, there's nothing inherently wrong about it. Like, I feel like it's fine. It's just kind of like, after Castle Mirage, I really didn't think we needed this dress. No offense, guys, sorry. But yeah, I'm still giving it a 3 out of 5. But would I own this? Nah. Nah. I, like, I'd rather own Castle Mirage. I also said I wouldn't own that. But yeah, the, there's just nothing wrong with this dress. It's just kind of, okay. <laughs> okay. Alright. And our next dress is Whip Collection, which is Polly. I... I feel like it's not, it's not on the level of awful of Whip Jackard, it's just, it's not a diner doll. It's trying to be a diner doll, it's not a diner doll. So you know what? It's getting a 2 out of 5. Would I own this? No, 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 no. Would I own it over Whip Jackard? Absolutely, but... Nah, it's, it's, just, it's just, this just ain't it, guys. It's just ain't it. And the next print is Classical Fairy, oh no, Classic Fairy Tales. It is classic fairy tales. It is iconic. I thought from the look of like how it looks, it looks like it should be a very much an older AP dress, which I was like, it's very different from AP style, AP's kind of branding. Like if they were going, see this, I feel like is an experimental year. That's what makes it the modern era. And I feel like this was kind of 
you know, playing on a couple of the stuff that used to be like old school and kind of what they were doing, but also still kind of keeping it fresh, keeping it real. I love the detachable sleeves of the OP. I'm like, you could, it could be a spring or a winter print. We love the versatility of classical fairy, classic fairy tales. It's just, it's, a, it's so good. It's iconic. It's classic. It's classic, y'all. And I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. And even though it wouldn't fit in my wardrobe, I think I would still like to open it. Because I just think it's so, it's so good. It'd probably go in the other part of my wardrobe. <laughs> like, not this side. Like, Tyler Willis calls it the ugly stepchild of her wardrobe. Because it just doesn't fit in with everything else. But yeah, it's cotton. It's beautiful. Got versatility. We love to see it. If I never see it on sale. <laughs> every time. I can't get classic fairy tales. Nobody's selling. <laughs> and the next dress is the Belle Opaque Rose, which I feel like after I would rather of Wonder Gallery, I think the fake kind of flowers on this one aren't really giving like the elegant kind of feel I feel like it's kind of go trying to go for. But yeah, I, I still feel like it's an okay print. Like, it's a very pretty detailed print, but I feel like if they had just made like a couple different tweaks, it might have been much better than it is. So I'm giving it a 3 out of 5, and would I own this? Nah, I'd rather own Wonder Gallery. <laughs> and the next dress is Melty Mary Princess, which is, I believe, cotton. I've seen this one in person, so maybe a little bit biased on this one, but is so gorgeous and is so detailed. This one has recently gone through an MTO, so hopefully we'll be seeing a lot more of it very soon because it is so detailed and gorgeous and I love it and the colorways just work and I'm just like the cuts, I'm like boom, it's all working out. It's definitely one of AP's best fairy prints in my opinion. So I'm giving it a 5 out of 5 and would I own this? Yes, unfortunately I did not partake in the MTO, but someday. Someday I feel like Melty Bear puts this back on my way. And the next dress is Shadow Dream Carnival, which is a poly organ organ organdy mix, you know? Or <laughs> it is uh I don't know really much to say about this one because you know it's one of those prints where they're like it's like kind of hidden. Kind of hidden with it. As far as the carnival prints go, it's very I don't know. It's, it's not. It's it's not like bad. It's just kind of boring compared to like all the other detail that's put into the carnival prints. So I'm giving it a three out of five. And would I own this? Nah, I'm good. And the next dress is Salon de Ooh. <laughs> yes, yeah, Salon de the Rose. I'm sorry. It's definitely. It's given French vibes. It's given Marie Antoinette vibes. Class. Rococo elegance. This is what the Belle Opaque Rose wants to be. Cause oh my god, this one, this this is a this is good rose part. I feel like this one just has so much detail, so much like the colorways are like whoo. I believe I gave this one a five out of five. And would I own this? I feel like maybe. <laughs> I feel like maybe I said no on this one, but. I, I still love it, it may just not be within my wardrobe. I, I still love it though. I'm, st I'm still giving it a 5 out of 5. Yes. Oh wait. Sorry, I was double checking my notes down there. I was double checking my notes down there. Actually, scratch that. I would own this. I would own this dress. I love the cuts and the colors. I was like, I'm getting it by the I was like, I did not own this. This looks like it fit in my wardrobe perfectly. No, it's just been a while since I actually wrote my notes for this one. Because we're filming very late from when I actually did the, the actual research on this. So, yes, no, I would own this. It's cotton, I believe. And I'm giving it a 5 out of 5. The official stores. And the next dress is Wrapping Heart, which is a very highly contest contested dress. I feel like some people love it, some people hate it, and it's just, <laughs> some people think it's tacky, some people think it's 
brilliant. And the colors are, whew. I definitely love the triple bows on the high waisted JSK cut. Those are, I mean, I love a tricolor bow. I, I'm a simple gal who loves a tricolor bow. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like where I stand, I feel like I do like a lot of the elements. I feel like they're there. But I feel like it is a little bit too cluttered. So I'm going to stand on the kind of middle ground for this one and give it a 3 out of 5. And would I own this dress? I do not think so. I don't, I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stand with a no on that only because I feel like, personally, there's a lot of colors in there that I feel like are very hard to cord well. And there's so many colors to work with, it's hard to just choose one. Uh, so I feel like I personally don't think I could coordinate very well, but there are people who have this dress and have coordinated it very lovely. And the next dress is Marine Kingdom, which Marine Kingdom, I feel like definitely as a marine print, is very detailed, it's very gorgeous. I feel like all the colors and the colorway, like, yeah, all the cuts and the colorways just don't hit as well. Like, the navy is very, like, kind of definitely out there, I feel like with the rest of like the border print it, it makes it stand out a lot more but I feel like it maybe kind of fades away I'm kind of like the pink colorway like it's still a very gorgeous print though I'm giving it a four out of five but like I feel like I, I would also say I would own this but you know definitely specific colorways they're kind of what I'm interested in <laughs> navy navy blue <laughs> And our last print of the year is gonna be <laughs> Dream Marine. <laughs> I I love this print. This is this this is my favorite print. I know people are gonna. You have Milky Chan. You have so many like highly sought after prints, but Dream Marine <laughs> is your favorite. Yes. Yes, I, I love Dream Marine. It is so gorgeous. It's got these like glitter dots and it's just, it, it means so much to me. <laughs> I have a lot of ocean kind of history, so I love the kind of shell prints. I remember when it first came out in 2015 and I was just like, oh my god. Oh my god. I, if you haven't seen Deerstalker's unboxing video of it, it is probably, it's, it's a good one. It's a pretty good one. But yeah, I got this in 2015 when it first came out. And then later I was able to receive the special set. This is the special set pink version. And then lastly, I have the white version, which is what people... <laughs> voted the one I wear today. I didn't put the navy one or British bear in the running because the darker colors seem to like affect kind of like how the, the camera will try to adjust to that. So I didn't put them in the running but definitely navy is my favorite. Navy is my first dream dress. I love the navy OP. There's just something about the OP cut that I'm just like woo. <laughs> and I finally got the head bow for the white one so when people said I was wearing the white one I was like yes. <laughs> yes because I finally got the purple head bow people have been selling it with the dress and I'm just like no I just say the head bow <laughs> because this one came with uh ooh. oh I left it in the bathroom <laughs> it came with like this very it was a set that came with one of those cheap little hair bows and I was like no I want this one because I have the navy one of this one and yeah I'm just like Dream Marine? I, they they always re release Dream Marine. They're doing it now, but they usually do it kind of around my birthday. I think they're only doing like the white set for some reason in like Japan. It's, they usually re-release Dream Marine and I'm always like, let me get another, let me grab another one. <laughs> I'm, I really want the Saks colorway next of Dream Marine, so fingers crossed I get it. But yeah, I'm obviously giving this one a 5 out of 5, and would I own this? Yes. Yes, I would own this. <laughs> There's like an elusive teal colorway too, which I'm also kind of like, I like, I'm like, how would I cord that? But the elusive teal colorway, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like, I need it. I'm like, I'm like, girl, you can't cord it. I don't care. <laughs> and that is going to wrap up 2015. I feel like 
There was a lot of different surprises in 2015. Like, I feel like it definitely AP was trying to do experimental stuff. They're kind of trying to change it up from their sweet thing. And that's kind of what kind of, you know, started the whole modern AP thing. But actually, like, in my research, I found... Let's break out the nose. <laughs> Make sure we don't mess up it this time. I almost missed Wrapping Heart and Marine Kingdom. So that's that was... That was a close one. I've missed two dresses before. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. We're gonna go off the notes this time because it is. It was a while since I've done these. I was in the process of moving, so I, even finding this little notebook where I take my notes, <laughs> it was a challenge. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I found out that there were 23 dresses in this year. Eight of the 23 were polyester. Ten of the 23 dresses were cotton, and five of the 23 dresses were chiffon or other. And yeah, so that's actually, there were still a majority of cotton dresses released in 2015, which is what I consider to be the modern era, but we will, it will all kind of depend on going forward. Like 2016, I'll definitely be doing the same thing from the modern period onward. I'm going to see how many cotton dresses are still released because there was a point, like I feel like we're at the point now where AP just flat out refuses to do cotton. But yeah, the total score, it was... A whole boom, boom, boom. It was 91 out of 115 bows. Yes, 91 out of 115, which I feel like is still pretty high for the year. Obviously, I feel like there were some heavy hitters for me, like Three Marine, and there was like a lot of the cotton dresses slapped <laughs> in this year, especially. So I feel like at least for starting off the modern era, we're not starting off on a bad foot. I feel like the change will be a little bit more gradual. But I'm still, you know, the point of the series is to find out if modern AP has really gone downhill, if it seems like the prints are going downhill. And yeah, so I guess we won't really see that until the end. But yeah, thank you all for joining me for once again another video. I really appreciate you all coming out for another one. If you haven't yet, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe if you haven't all of that good stuff. And yes, I am going to be back to making more videos. It, it, please stop trying to hunt me down for my brand. Uh, okay, that's the, that's the time to get on out of here. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye now.